Good morning. Well, I'm finishing packing. I'm traveling and I'm going to Colombia. Uh, it's almost six in the morning. We're just calling the Uber. I was planning on going with my husband to Chicago uh, today, but I received some news from my family and I think it's the best for me is to go to Colombia and visit my family now that they need me and yeah so I'm just trying to finish everything I think I have everything I'm going to be there for like 12 days kind of nervous because well the first time I travel this is the first time I actually travel pregnant and I just want everything to go good so yeah Hey baby, hey, mi you're gonna miss me? Sure am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to Chicago while I'm going to Colombia. Yeah. Work. I'm a little nervous. Me too. First time oh. I travel without without you. I'm pregnant. Oh, wait, someone is calling. No, that's our a permanent access. Yeah, a permanent access. Press it. Press it. <laughs> up, up. Lift it. Okay, nine. All right, I'm also turning off my alarm. <laughs> oh my god! Multitasking in the morning is not my thing. Yeah, but I'm a little I'm nervous. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, please stop traveling with my belly. I know, that's what makes me nervous too. I'm yeah. not with you. I know, but I'm gonna be fine, anymore. Let's go. We'll be good. Yeah, we need to go there. Right here. Close up. You think so? No. Twelve days. I always bring. I always bring more than what I need. Need to bring with me. But what can I do? I'm a woman. Even though I didn't bring. No, I didn't bring much. I normally bring more stuff when I travel. But this time I went light. Only twelve days. I'm gonna be there. So All bye right. bye, light. Let's get out the door. <sighs> Tell everyone see you at the airport. <laughs> now it's dark. Well, here we are at the airport. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you, ma'am. First time traveling by myself with my little belly. Yeah. <laughs> Long trip, but you know what? I wanna see you in 12 days. Yep. I'm miss you so much. Well, we made it to the airport. Yes. We sure did. So, gotta feed the baby. Got some empanadas here. Voy a comer empanadita bien rico. Bueno, his fly is at 8, mine is at till 9.50. I'm hungry. So I'm really close to my house. I told my nephew that a friend of mine was going to give them a bag with some vitamins for my mom because I want to surprise him. So I'm going to see his face. He's going to be really surprised to see me. Uh, they are not expecting me at all. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Gracias, señor. Okay. Hola, no. Lele, estoy bien aquí colombiano. Grave. Hola. No, pero que. Me tendrán almuerzo, ¿no? Ay, hola, hola. Ay, tan linda la mujer. Bien. No, de los dos, 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 de los
¿Qué más, Fabi? Dios. Yo sí estaba sospechando algo y... Eso de que unas pastillas yo no me lo creía. Oiga, ¿qué pasó con mi almuerzo? ¿Qué pasó con mi almuerzo? ¿Dónde está mi almuerzo? Hombre, Dios mío, me tienen aguantando, hombre. Debajo del cuellito. Dios mío, qué nervioso, tan chiquitico. Yo ando los sentimientos hoy. Las hormonas que me dan. ¿Qué mamá? ¿La química? Ahorita me tocó darle de comer al niño y sacarle los gases. ¿A Joana no fue tomando? No, yo lo tengo. ¿Vino sola? ¿Solo el bebé, mami, con el bebé? Pues sí, el bebé no le sintió nada. Sí, mami, es que yo me tomo en el pollo. Me gusta el bebé, pero esto. Estoy aprendiendo. ¿Sí? Siente, venga, siente acá. No, yo me siento que ya no salgo. Ay, no, mami. Y luego, ¿qué dices? Y le disparo. Ay, güey. Caldito, apenas para curarme el estómago hecho por mi hermano. Bueno, well, it's day number three. Um, I've been resting like two days in a row, but I've been babysitting. I think I've been learning how to take care of a little baby. Como no puede asociar entonces urina. Um, so I've been trying to take care of the baby and now this is where my baby is going to be eating today okay so this is what we're going to do in Colombia they have a they have a superstition about when the baby have like I don't know how to say it in English but it's called pujo that it's like start doing like mm, something like that so they cross I have to do like a cross because I'm pregnant so I have to do a cross on the baby Look at the baby. This, his name is Aaron. And so, Joanna, what do I have to do? Yes. 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 Como ustedes la hacen, de arriba a abajo. Católica. Al lado y al lado. O al lado y al lado. Okay. No, al lado y al lado. Rezos? Así, mami, así. Pim. No, no, así no. Tiene que pasar por encima del mismo. Eso. Así. Eh, con la derecha, ¿no? Ahora sí. coge hacia allá. Ahora coge hacia allá. De este lado. A este lado. Y luego pasa la. No, o sea, pasa la. Sí. Y pasa la pierna esa por encima del. ¿La de derecha? No, no, con la derecha. Cualquiera, no. cualquiera. No, con la derecha, Carolina. Sí, hace tres veces la misma. Tres veces lo mismo. ¿Y me vuelvo para allá? Sí. Lo cuando comenzó. <risa> Ay, Dios mío, bebito, los embrujos que se me hace el pujo. Ay, ¿Qué te puede hacer el pujo? Hace la isla, hace la cruz, o allá al otro lado, y vuelve y comienza. Y el rey. ¿Listo? ¿Ya? 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 Primero listo, vamos con el otro. Ay, Dios mío, señor. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué hacen? Ay, no, con el mío, no, no, con el mío. Ahora es día. Fuera ya, usted no puede estar seca. Ay, Dios mío, que mi recito. Yo soy todo chiquitico, sí. ¿Qué? Vamos otra vez. A uno. Otro, el otro, el otro, va una, una, otro, ajá, que se me quiten los pujitos, van dos, otra, se dormió ahí, rayo, ay ya va mi amor, ay no, 
No, me equivoqué. No, no, está bien, está bien. Listo, de tres. Tres, me equivoqué. Pierna, por eso hice esa. No, no, no. ¿Usted va a salir así con esa pijama? ¿Sí? ¿Qué sabe que me lo pillamos? Ve, mi amor. Ve, mi chinito hermoso. Por eso lo pasé así. Yo pensé que... Te entrego a tu hijo. Mira esa, pero no, no. Dios mío. Simba. I've been taking care of this sweet little boy. I've been practicing actually because it's the first time that I'm actually with a newborn baby. And está un poquito caliente, mami. Mami está un poquito caliente. No. Un poquitito, sí. Ahí lo sentí caliente en la sí, un poquitito. Sí, bueno. Mami, yo voy, yo voy. No, 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 pero usted me dijo que estaba arreglando la casa. Sí, pero me faltan cosas. Pero mire, yo ya la pieza, cambié las sábanas. Ahorita ya me tomo la sopa. Ya, toda la piedra, la Listo. My knees start chemo on Monday. So they told my sister that because I'm pregnant, that's not good for me to be there before. Um, like when they're doing the chemo that's not good for me so I today I have to find a last minute ticket to travel tomorrow at 7am uh, to Bucaramanga to see my sister uh, because I'm, on, I'm only gonna have like Saturday and Sunday to spend time with my niece so that's why I didn't know that I'm not allowed to be Close to her because it wouldn't be safe for me and the baby because of like the chemo she's going to start getting on Monday. So I'm exhausted. I woke up really early today. Mm. I love being here with my family, but it can be a little overwhelmed, and I don't have my husband next to me, so he can give me some support. Um, so many things going on I'm actually having a great time uh, taking care of my brothers my brother a son they have uh, two kids two little ones I've been practicing giving him like milk and I don't know feeding him and taking care of him like babysitting so I'm trying to practice when my baby arrives so I know a little bit of what to do it's amazing I feel like I have that instinct like mother instinct uh, I feel so close to them they're so cute so needy so amazing I it's amazing like that connection and I'm so glad that I was able to come to Colombia and spend this time with my family uh, I really miss Russ well I just made it to the airport uh, I, I haven't slept much today um, I woke up every hour I don't know maybe because I'm not sleeping in my bed that's why I'm, I haven't been able to rest and I didn't want to miss the flight so Okay, but I'm here, I made it, I'm waiting, my flight, I'm gonna start boarding in like five minutes probably. So, yeah, and I will be in Bucaramanga at 8.40. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, I'm really tired, sleepy, baby has been kicking a lot. Um, I don't like traveling without my husband, that's for sure. He's at home with Phoebe, sleeping waiting for me I will be there in one more week finally I'm just trying to hide my face with my glasses because I look exhausted a ver, pásatelo. Ah. Ahí está. Pásatelo. Ay. Pásatelo, pásatelo. Pásatelo. Cámatelo más agüita. Púrele, Evelyn. Pásatelo. Mm. A ver. Le iba a dar para la venga, venga. A ver, déjame ver la boquita. Eso. Eso. A ver el otro. El otro, el otro, el otro. 
Mm, a ver. Mm. Sí, sí. Pásatelo, pásatelo. Déjame ver. A ver. Tómatelo con agüita. <risa> a ver, con agüita. Tómatelo, tómatelo. ¿Ya? ¡Ay! ¡Ay! Uh, ¡Ay! Uh, ¡Ay! 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 Wanna cookie, Phoebe? Phoebe, get up. Arriba. Here. Arriba. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. You think she get missed up. me? What is that in the back, in that door? My clothes mm. that I ordered. Oh, okay. You're looking cute, mi amor. That's the dog. That's you, handsome. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too, babe. Long day. You look tired. I'm very tired. Yeah, it's 11.30. Pass. I'm ready for bed. Yeah, me too. Well, I have a long day tomorrow. But, well, I'm going to keep you posted. guys uh, well today's my last day in Bucaramanga uh, I'm going to wait for my sister's lunch because I'm going to see her today's my last day so I want to spend time with her and with Layao she started at chemo today so I I told my sister that will be there soon as they finish I have to buy some other gift uh, for other kids there um, that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna be doing in here. I just want to give them a little bit of happiness, even if it's just material things. Um, but they're things that they need, and that will make them a little happy, you know. <sighs> they need it. Sometimes we complain about the things that we don't have and like the life that we have, but compared to them, we have everything, and we are alive, we are healthy. Um, is no one should have to go through something like that in their life. It's, it's hard to see and it's, it's painful, it's painful to see. And having my sister going, like having my sister uh, having to deal with all of those things, she's the strongest woman I know. I thought she was the weakest, but no, this is hard for a mother. I cannot imagine a mother having to deal with that and seeing your daughter your son going through something like that someone that you love going through something like that I you don't you don't you don't want to see that okay so I have the gift ready like I didn't have time to pack this at home but I'm gonna start packing them here because I'm on my way to the hospital to see the kids so I'm ready to actually see them and give them this I want to see their facial expression how happy they're going to be so I'm really excited some things that they need some things that they want I asked my sister because she spends a lot of time at the hospital so I asked her what do you think I need and she told me what I need so I'm gonna start packing it in here and uh, 
yeah that's it i have all the gifts let's see hey guys well i went to the hospital and i gave them the gift I didn't want to film them because I didn't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So I decided to go with my sister room by room and make them happy. And they are actually really excited. They were not expecting that. And to be honest, I want to be able to do this more often. Well, I'm at the airport. Uh, I'm trying not to think about my sister situation in my niece today she started the chemo and i saw her today in a way that the way they were holding her to give her the medicine she's really strong but the way they were holding her it was it was really painful to watch seeing my sister dealing with all of that it's it's really sad um, I didn't want to stay, so I went to look for some popsicles because they love popsicles. So I went with my brother to find some popsicles and bring it. So about by the time that I, I came back, they were over. They finished giving her the medicine. And so <clears throat> she was really happy with the ice cream. We took some photos and then I gave them their gift. I started with my niece and then with Emily, the little girl who is sharing the room with my niece. <coughs> oh, she was so happy. Oh, she was so happy with her gift. She was really excited. And then I, I actually didn't want to take the other gift with me. I, I think I was thinking that maybe my sister, because she know them all, I thought she was going to to give them what I got but she told me that I should do it so I went and did it I met them all today there is a three years old he was so happy with the gift he was so excited uh, and he was really excited to see the popsicle as well uh, his mom was really happy too it's really sweet and kind woman uh, the other boy was 15 years old he was really happy to I got to meet him uh, I just really feel like I want to hug him um, they are so like they are spending so much time at that place and, and they don't have any people who actually go and visit them and and being able to do that and at least just show him a little bit of like hey you're not alone or like I don't know yeah I just I don't know how to express how I feel. I wanted, there were so many times that I wanted to cry, but I didn't want to do it in front of my sister. She needs all the strength that she can get. And wow, she's so strong. There was another girl, she's 15 years old. She was so happy with the gift and she was walking back and forth, but even my brother told her to come in uh, to the bedroom that we were at. And she actually said that she, they don't let her uh, for any reason. I really don't know, but she was just looking back and forth, like that big smile. And I just pray and hope that they get better. I, that's all I want. I want them to go back home. I want them to enjoy their life because they deserve to enjoy life. They deserve the best of this life. They deserve to get out of the bed and. They deserve to get out of that bed and go and enjoy their their youth. That's all I want. I don't want them to go through that pain. Not just them, so all these people that are going through the same similar situation. Wow, I saw a different side of of like this awful disease. Cancer is such a shit. I can't believe there's so little um, I'm devastated I'm, I wish I could stay longer I wish I can hug my sister again I wish I can give them happiness or more or whatever they need I just feel I want to help them I want to be able to see that beautiful smile I, I want to see them smile I don't know I feel like 
I don't know if because I'm pregnant, I don't know, but I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm seeing life completely different. So, I made it back home. My husband is bringing the bag, but of course I need to use the restroom first, so I don't want to wait on him. I'm going to be seeing my dog. I haven't seen in 12 days. Hopefully she misses me because I miss her. Let's see. I get it all. Phoebe! Mommy's here, Phoebe!